welcome to our channel in this session we will discuss code generation using dag so generating the code from the dag is much simpler than generating from a linear sequence of three address statements so compared to code generation from the three address statement the generation of the code from the dag is very simpler how do we do this one simply by using dag we are rearranging some sequence of instructions and generate an efficient code now consider that one and everyone remember the order the order of three address statement simply affects the cost of the object code in which order the statements are executed that order is very very important based on the order the cost of object to code may vary so for that i will discuss with one example consider one example a plus b plus e plus c minus d suppose assume this is an expression in this expression i assume t1 is equal to a plus b some t2 is equal to c minus d some t3 is equal to e plus t2 t4 is equal to t1 plus t3 okay so for this expression these are the statements now i will construct a dag for this one first plus a b this is t1 now c minus d here i will write t2 c d now t3 value is plus some additional e plus t2 now t4 is t1 plus this is t3 this is t4 now you know that one this is the dag this is the dag for this expression now the code can be generated by translating the three address code line by line see this one how the code is generated first move a comma or not and then perform addition operation add b comma or not and then move some c comma or one we are performing subtraction subtraction d comma r1 so first two statements completed now next move some e comma r not next addition add r not comma r1 next to move t1 comma r not why you already know r1 has c minus d value so after this one r1 contains e plus c minus d r not consists of a plus b r not consists of a plus b finally add r move add r1 comma r not move r not comma t4 normal procedure so this expression move a comma r not and then perform addition the result is placed in r not now what r not consists of r not consists of a plus b move c comma r1 and subtract c minus and subtract d comma r1 now r1 consists of c minus d and then i am performing addition e comma r not now r not consists of a plus b now i am moving to e also and then addition between that r not and r1 addition between r not and r1 and then move the value finally move to t4 suppose this is the order if we change the ordering of the sequence 
we change the ordering of the sequence. Suppose first if I perform T2 is equal to C minus D, T3 is equal to E plus T2, T1 is equal to A plus B, T4 is equal to T1 plus T3. So from this first I am performing this operation and then this operation, this one and then overall addition. If I change the order, what is the code I am getting? Observe the code, move C comma R naught and then I am performing subtraction D comma R naught. Next, move e comma r1 add r naught already consists of c minus d r naught comma r1 and move a comma r naught and then add b comma r naught next to addition add r1 comma r naught Finally, move R0, comma T4. Here, observe the number of instructions 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Here, we have total 9 instructions. Here, observe 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have total 8 instructions. Simply, by changing the order, the number of instructions is reduced. Even one instruction reduced in the sense it improves the performance a lot. That means you understand we are instead of three address code, we can generate the code by using DAG. Once we construct the DAG, we can change the order. Clear? This is the way how do we generate the code from the DAG. Okay. Thank you.